Give light, light to my, to my eyes, eyes lest I fall asleep in death. death. Let us my enemies say, I will overcome him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy. And since without you, human, uh, without you, mortal humanity is sure to fall, may we be kept by your constant help from all harm and directed to all that brings salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the Orphans plea, defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, if you eat the good things of the Lord... But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Christ Our responsorial song. <clears throat> to the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your field. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you restrict my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline? and cast my words behind you. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Praise to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Cast away from you all crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise, Praise to you, the word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, 
but they will not lift a finger to move them. That their works are performed for all to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation rabbi. As for you, do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today's responsorial psalm, we hear Psalm 50. And uh, if I may, walk you through a little exercise that I... Uh, toyed around with in my mind because it led me to a more serious question than I was originally anticipating. Uh, because similar to yesterday, when you read Psalm 50 in this translation, what does this say to you? I take from your house no bullet. Hmm, okay, God's not going to take a bullet from my house. But in my mind this morning, as I read it, I said, well, what if I switch it around a little bit? I'm not, thank God we don't, you're not coming here to church and we have turtle doves and goats and bulls. Thing. No, thank God. But what if God used the American slang? Bull. Not the animal, but baloney. Uh, that way. What if God says, you know, I'm not going to take any more bull from you. Well, hold it now. That, that, that offers a much different context. And I thought to myself, well, what would my response be if God suddenly from that crucifix behind me said, So, I'm not going to take any more of your bull. What would my response be? My first response that came to mind was, No, sir. No, sir. No, 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 no. You have to take my bull. Because that's what I've been taught. That I can give you as much bull as I want every day. Every day of my life. But the last moment, the last breath, the last thought, all I have to do is say, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. And you're going to go, okay, you're forgiven. And that led me to the more serious question. In what other relationship... Even in my own family, my parents, what other relationship could I give bull to someone? Completely, utterly feed them lines of bull every day, saying one thing and doing another. And whenever I got my backside in a crack, I could look at them and say, oh, by the way, yeah, look, I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. And they would go, yeah, okay, you're forgiven. What other relationship could I do that? I can't think of anything. Then it hit me. Have I, have I placed that type of relationship on God? That I demand God forgive me for all the bull I give to him that he will unconditionally go, okay, you're forgiven, and then I'm scot-free? Do I demand that of God? Or, better yet, do I go up to him and say, hey, God, you know, uh, yeah, I'm sorry I gave you bull all my life. Uh, uh, just uh, go ahead, forgive me. And what if God says to me, well, yeah, well let's sit down and have a little talk first. Huh. Well, maybe I don't want to chance that. Maybe you don't either. I could be always wrong. I always open up that I could be wrong. I could. Maybe God is the type of entity that no matter what I do, no matter how much bull I feed him, no matter what I say, all the baloney, 
that uh, God's going to say, yeah, it's okay, come on in. He might do that. Or he might look at me and go, you know, uh, I don't know. Let me think about this because we're, were you really, truly sorry for what you did? Or are you just using it as that get out of jail free card in the Monopoly game? And you're not really sorry. Even in your own apology at the end, you're still feeding me bull. Oh, I don't know if I want to chance that. Just a thought. Just a thought. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Coming together as one family of faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray for the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray that God's will will be accomplished in this conflict between Russia and the Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video, and for the needs of you here present in our chapel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Loretta Clayton, for whom this Mass is being offered today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands. Be pleased to work your sanctification within us by means of these mysteries, O Lord, and may it uh, we be cleansed of earthly faults and led to the gifts of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up, o Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts. If free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world, as told rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you. As without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of Christ, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, like the Lord that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, give me thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Not to save the man formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I will recount all your wonders. I will rejoice in you and be glad and sing songs to your name, O Lord God.
Let us pray. May the refreshment of this sacred table, O Lord, we pray, bring us an increase in devotedness of life and the constant health of your work of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Lord, 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 the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the the Lord, the the Lord, 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 the Divine praises. <clears throat> Blessed be God. Blessed be the Holy Man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy disciple of the Father. Blessed be the Holy Spirit and his soul. Blessed be the great Mother of God and Mary most holy. Blessed be the Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be the Lord of our sons. Blessed be the man of the Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints.